Moment of truth. Let's see what it takes. But the project never so much starts, my bro. Some slick white juice. I don't want to try that. I don't want to add sounds. You must now say it. That's not a trick, yeah. Second try, let's go. Take two cores to get in any clutch. Jeez. So, okay. Are you keeping clutch in? Oh, now it's just me. It's just me. Does this plug was out now as well, so... Okay, so, uh... Sounds like a car wants to come alive. Uh, it's, there's no clutch at the moment, so we're just cupping it into, into reverse. Reverse feels like the best option right now. Eh. Another hand would help, no? <laughs> you put the back for you. You can feel. Close. So. Alex just got some petrol. We just realized that this damn car didn't have any petrol. You know. we under, under the impression there was all a 200 range petrol in here, but unfortunately. unfortunately not. But that was also two years ago, bro. Yeah, but this man said 200 is stolen. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully, um, hopefully that helps. So excuse the taxi I'm sitting in, I just had to get the quiet place for you guys. So as you can see, or as you can hear, the crank sounds way more better, stronger and faster compared to the crank of the startup sounded in the beginning of the videos. I hope some of you will probably get it, but um, yeah, the timing was out. So that caused the car not to start. And then the second problem, as you can see, in, if you look closer into the 
engine bay you'll notice that there's a fuel regulator installed which was not there previously um without without that fuel regulator we would have probably never gotten that car to to start up or at least idle for for a few seconds the way you see um it's doing here and then a third problem was that we had to replace the injectors because the current injectors were leaking also the fuel rail wasn't being held tightly into into position that's why you'll notice the guys had to literally push it or keep it in while starting up the car and then eventually they made it another plan just to just a temporary plan where they tightened tightened the, the fuel rail down with um some wire how the car only starts after you've built up enough fuel pressure so what happens is the fuel regulator shows us that the car builds up its six it's the necessary six bar pressure and then as soon as you start the car it will idle for a few seconds and then it loses the fuel so the problem here is it's not holding the pressure the way it should So right about now, you'll notice we got the car to start and more consistently this time around. I can guarantee this is something we would have never gotten on our own. So as soon as we left to go pick up a different fuel float, one of the mechanics realized there was a piece of plastic stuck inside one of the pipes running to the float, which caused major fuel restriction, resulting in the car not being able to idle consistently which also explained why the fuel regulator wasn't holding the necessary 6 bar fuel pressure that the motor needed.
Ja, doch, ich kann Ik heb een beetje een beetje een beetje een beetje een beetje een beetje